FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Common Sense Radio. Good morning, you bunch of drunks. Do you know who Amber Tamblyn is? Yes, I have heard that name before. Actress, right? Right. She is the... Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Right. Uh Yes, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. So she comes out and says... These naked, life-size Donald Trump statues are not forgivable. This is this is not right. She says that, mm-hmm. Which and is she, right. yeah, that is correct. But she relates it to body shaming. Mm-hmm. She says body shaming is never okay, even when it comes to Trump. That was her Facebook post <laughs> on Sunday. She went on even to say. These statues aren't art. They are a lazy, unoriginal concept. Stolen, mind you, from Lima Ima Gore's painting, which already made this exact same point earlier this year. So she did a, she did a humiliating painting of Donald Trump. And these Trump statues popped up all over L.A., San Francisco, Cleveland, Seattle, New York City. And, you know, what they, they defended themselves saying, well, like it or not, Trump's a larger-than-life figure in world culture at the moment, blah, blah, blah. But let's put it this way. Have you, had you done that to a woman? Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. Hillary Clinton. Oh, yeah. W- would that be appropriate to have a statue of her? Now, last night I did tweet out a picture of her in a bikini because I was trying to say that since Speedo does not like lies, they will no <laughs> longer... They will no longer sponsor Hillary Clinton. But that's about it. I mean, I wasn't trying to, you know, it was was a speedo. But nonetheless, it's pretty interesting to have an actress come up and say, hey, this this isn't right, you know? All right, so you guys know what's going on down there in Louisiana. And by the way, thank you guys yesterday for tweeting out and helping me out with this map. Because I had talked about how water from the northern part of the United States basically goes right into this basin in Louisiana and it all the rain and everything else. So Louisiana can never really afford to have an extra amount of rain. Turns out the map is even worse than that. It's actually an upside down pyramid. So it's not just coming from the north. It's coming from the east and the west. And so these people are in a world of hurt down there. And I'm really pleased to have Cindy Erickson on with us. With the American Red Cross, redcross.org, at STL Red Cross, because we are teaming up for an effort to help our fellow folks, our fellow citizens down there in Louisiana. And this is us and uh, St. Louis broadcasters teaming up. We've got a special phone bank. Cindy Erickson, thanks so much for being with us. Well, good morning, Jamie, and thank you so much uh, for bringing attention to this just this critical issue that is happening down in Louisiana. Just grateful for that. Well, you guys do such great work, and it's so important to note. I know this isn't a political thing. This is a situation where, you know, people, organizations, private organizations like American Red Cross or just normal average everyday people, they have the ability to help in ways that sometimes the government can't. I mean, in reaching certain areas and helping certain people and getting right into a block or a neighborhood or what have you. So that's really the benefit here. A- absolutely, and it's it's about a community coming together and and uh, really trying to help people who are suffering. And gosh, St. Louis absolutely saw that last uh, holiday season when we had our floods. I mean, we had people from all over the country that were coming to St. Louis to help us, and and now it's really our turn. And the American Red Cross, as you all know, I mean, you're thinking, wait a minute, where's the, what, the blood? What? No, they provide meals, shelter. And hope, really, for so many people who were suffering down there. And to see a Red Cross truck or a Red Cross vehicle or a Red Cross volunteer is usually just so comforting to to folks. You know what it is. And and the Red Cross, that's exactly what our role is, is is our role is to come in in times of disaster. Um, We are usually first on uh, the scene or first uh, after the uh, first responders have come through. And our role is to make sure 
everybody has a safe place to stay. So to kind of give the listeners an idea of what that looks like, we've opened up over 50 shelters, um, the Red Cross, as well as with some of the state partners and other um, partnering agencies, and we've provided over 41,000 overnight stays. So if you think about it, you know, having guests that come in, you have over 41,000 of them just this last week of alone. Wow. And so it is about making sure people have a safe place to stay. Um, it's about making sure they've got meals. It's about, um, you know, providing them with comfort and hope because they've just lost everything. They can't get back into their homes. And uh, the state estimates there's about 60,000 people uh, that are impacted by uh, severely by the flooding that's taking place down there. So we... The American Red Cross and our fellow St. Louis broadcasters right now have a number for you all to call, 800-984-8979. People actually are on the other end of the line, and we'll take your donation right there on the phone. If you need more information, 971talk.com slash flood, and that'll get you to where you need to be to help our fellow Americans down there in Louisiana since 1881. The American Red Cross has been around. So God love you. Thank you, Cindy Erickson. We appreciate it so much. We're honored to be working with you on this project. Can't wait to hear ultimately how it's going to go, but we appreciate you. Well, thanks a lot, Jamie. Likewise. All right. Take care. 971talk.com slash flood or 800-984-8979.